If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's Protection Family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and St. Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, January 30, 2023, Monday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 32 to 40. Brothers and sisters, what more shall I say? I have not time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who by faith conquered kingdoms, did what was righteous, obtained the promises. They closed the mouths of lions, put out raging fires, escaped the devouring sword. Out of weakness, they were made powerful, became strong in battle, and turned back foreign invaders. Women received back their dead through resurrection. Some were tortured and would not accept deliverance in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, sold into, put to death at a source point. They went about in skins of sheep or goats, needy, afflicted, tormented. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered about in deserts and on mountains, in caves and in crevices in the earth. Yet all these, though approved because of their faith, did not receive what had been promised. God had foreseen something better for us, so that without us they should not be made perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response. Let your hearts take comfort all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Your response, let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Your response, let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Blessed be the Lord whose wondrous mercy he has shown me in a fortified city. Your response, let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Once I said in my anguish, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard the sound of my pleading when I cried out to you. Your response, let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requires those who act proudly. Your response, let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 5, verses 1 to 20. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Gerasenes. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs, who had an unclean spirit, met him. 
The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with the chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with the shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with the stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from that territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine. Let us enter them. And he led them, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about 2,000 rushed down a steep bank into the sea where they were drowned. The swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by Legion, sitting there clothed and in his right mind. And they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus would not permit him, but told him instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis, what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. Dear friends, in today's Gospel, we see Jesus interacting with the possessed person. Additionally, we discover that nobody longer has any hope for him to ever resume his former life as a typical human being. However, Jesus confronts the demons, delivers the man from their control, and then sends him back to his family and friends. The man turns into a fervent supporter of Jesus' cause. Yes, dear friends, let us love one another and trust in the Holy Spirit and the Spirit will guide us on our mutual journey to meet Jesus. Prayer We are grateful to you, Lord, for giving us forgiveness and healing as a priceless and kind gift. Lord, remove all of our worries and anxieties and give us hope again in you. Lord, we ask that you grant us the power of your Holy Spirit so that we can carry out your will as you have called us to do. 
Lord, purify our thoughts, words, and deeds. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, let us meet in the next video with another new healing and life-giving message. Until then, may our gracious and loving God watch over you and keep you safe from all harm. Dear friends, by clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you for watching. God bless you.